What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Max Outdoors video. It is day two. Um and we're doing some more fishing, obviously. Um last night, um the so technically last night, but the video before this one. Um didn't really catch fish during the day. Um caught one jumbo perch and then we went trolling. Um started at 7:30 and then two hours later we caught two fish back to back within a matter of five minutes. Um, and that pretty much ended the video. Sorry, there's bugs everywhere. But today we're doing the same thing again. Going into town, renting a shouse boat. Gonna fish another lake up here um, within the area. In Boulder Junction, there's about like 290 something lakes in like a 10 mile radius or something. Um, same thing. Just We're just gonna try to catch whatever we can, um, pretty much. See if we can bring something back. So that should be fun. Um, trying to think of anything else. Pretty, pretty much the same thing. Um, my dad and I. Um, for those who didn't know, in the last video, that was my cousin Mike, who I said earlier in the video. He comes up, so that's who caught those fish last night. So, pretty much. But this is the campsite again. Look at that view out there. That's the lake that we camp on. We did we troll this lake. We usually don't fish this lake, but got the two tents over here, and we're packing up the car again. Pretty much just packed. We just gotta pack up that motor again. Um, this is off the big camera, if most people don't know. Um, so this is the off the big camera. We're gonna see what it's like to be in the boat with the big camera again. Um, so. Yeah, hope you guys stay tuned for another exciting Max Outdoors video. Alrighty guys, we have made it to the lake. There's the shallow boat over there. But this is the lake we are fishing. Beautiful lake. Uh, you've probably seen this in a couple of videos before. We're at the boat launch right now. My dad's going to park this car up there. But this is it right here. This is going to be good. Um, we've heard that the crappies are hitting here. So obviously we go for whatever bites, but um, we'd like to get into some crappies, uh, possibly a catch and cook, or just be able to get some to keep. Um, the guys in town were saying that people were catching like crappies from like 11 to 13 inches, which are pretty big crappies. So. We'll take that. Um, got a couple extra stuff to put in the boat. Um, but yeah, it is just gorgeous out here. What a we weekend in northern Wisconsin. So we love it. There's a few boats out there. I don't know if you guys can see them. There's a few out there. But that's all right. No problem. Let's get into it. Alrighty. After technical difficulties, we were finally on the water. We got on the water the first time, and I started the motor up, and I ripped the handle off. Ripped it right off. So, thankfully to this guy, we bring tools when we come up, we fixed it. And we are finally on the water. Um, I guess I'm just too strong or something. The, the hit in the gym, I guess. I'm, it's too strong out here or something, I don't know. But we are finally on the water in the game fisher again. Give it a little bit more gas. But everyone is coming out. There's a lot of people out today. A little windy, which is okay. I'll keep those mosquitoes off. Um, the audio will be a little tough, but that's fine. So um, we're gonna get to our spot. And we're gonna get going here. Here we go. First fish of the day. Let me get it for you. I'll filter it in. Go. Very nice. Well, that was quick. That was right in front of the boat. Yep. Did it hit me twice before? Oh, did it? It hit twice before. It got it. And Gary Yamamoto did exactly what we're supposed to do. Top up on the line. Hold that baby up. Nice. Very nice. Nice large mouth. Yep. Let's get a release. Look at look at this look at the side. You got chewed up on yep. the other side. Got bit right here. 
can see it. Oh yeah, right here. It must be. Came out like this because yeah. it got it here too. Yep. So something grabbed on the tail. Yep. Must be probably. Nice fish. Oh. Beauty. We are hooked up. This might be a better one. Yeah. It was jumping. There it is. Nice. Flip it up. Oh, it's a flip up. Oh boy. Little, little smaller guy, but. Smaller, but chunkier. Yep. They're feeding. Yeah, they're feeding. Same place, but lots more. That's right. In this little weed bed. Guys are fishing this weed bed in about probably eight feet of water. Pull that baby up. There you go. Beauty. Take it all day. Picked up again. Jumping staying low, staying down. I lost it. You think? Nope, you still got it. Again. There it is. Oh, that's a decent one. It's not a bad one. Beauty. I knew those were beds over there. Yeah, the beds. I don't know if you guys can tell. But the lighter spots over there, those are beds. It's a good fish. Oh yeah, that's probably another, another good 12 inch it's fish. It's toy That's a little shy. Let's get the release on him. Go whip up. There it goes. There it goes. Beauty. Cold. And just like that, uh, another fish. Quickly. There it is. Another nice one. Chunky. This is they're, chunky they're feeding. Yeah, they're eating. Yeah, very nice. So I guess today I'm just the cameraman because I'm not catching anything. But nice one. It's another nice one. We could probably get a measurement on that guy. We got something in there. Let me get a quick measurement on him. We'll see. It's a beautiful fish though. So guys, we moved to the second spot now. We moved in the way in the back of the lake. Uh, we have some friends that live on this lake um, and they told us where some good spots are. So that's where we are fishing. Thirteen and a half. Thirteen and a half. Just shy. Just, just a little shy. Right, That's right. right. It's a good fish though. All right. That's just not perfect. Right. Oh. And within another couple of minutes, little, little guy. But take it though. All right, little guy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there are beds over there in those shallower spots, and that's where we're casting in. Little one. Little guy, Tiny. jeez. See you later, buddy. Should say record. Come on, baby. Finally hooked up on the board here. Oh, that's a nice one. All right, easy. This one for you guys. Boom, finally. Okay. Hooked up. Finally. Ain't that bad. Nice fish. Sweet. I like it. See you later, buddy. There he goes. All right, here we go. Hooked up. Jack's hooked up. Where are we going? It's over here. A little bit smaller than the last one. A little bit. It's all right. Take him though. Still a good addition. At least we catch a fish, unlike yesterday. Yeah, we didn't catch shit yesterday. We didn't catch anything, but. Another nice. little largey. They're like cold, it. cold fish. They're cold fish. See you, Jimmy. Perfect. Here we go. Hooked up again. Yep. This is the spot. Of course, the bass spot I'm over you, aren't I? That's right. It's a decent fish. This is a nice fish. There it is. Oh, That's yeah. a big one. That's a big one. That's a big fish. You need a net? Yeah, I do. That's a big fish. Okay. Let me think about this for a second. 
I'm gonna use the camera. It's all right. And net it at the same time, bro. Come here, baby. Bring it in. Yeah. That's a beauty. Got it? That's a big fish. That's a big one. That's a fish we're looking for. That can be a beauty. He handled that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. He ate it. He swallowed it. Oh, yeah, he's hungry. We're gonna get the hook undone, and then we'll get back to you guys. Alrighty. Hooked up again. Hooked up again. Let's see what we got. Is it swimming towards the boat? There it is. That's a little guy. Jeez, they hammer them. Yeah, they hammer they're them. Swallowing. Nice fish. Jeez. Alrighty, guys, we switched up spots. And yeah, I think you got a pretty decent one on. It's like. What's the thing? Hey, you got a. Oh, there's the jump. All right. Very nice. Stay away from the motor. Decent. Stay away from the motor. Not, not a bad bass. It's not a bad one. No, not. Hammered it. Yep, you did. Beauty. After we moved spots, we were all the way down there. Now we're up here. <laughs> this spot we have fished before. Yeah, we fish this spot every year. Every but year, baby. I just caught one over here, but it was a little one. We didn't record it. But this one gave a good fight. Let's see it. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Give a release on him. Oh, oh nice man, man. A little splash. A little man. Beauty. Oh, like again? We moved. We were right over there, right in front. So we moved. Just moving down this shoreline here. And just another fighter. fish, just a fighter. Nothing crazy, but that's fine. Big. They're big enough, they're cold. Cold water. Even though it's been the warmest days, but it's cold at night. They're cold. Nice little guy. Alrighty, guys. And that is another beautiful northern Wisconsin largemouth bass. Cut it up in there, way up in shore. They're all the way pinned up in about probably a foot of water. If that. If that. It's maybe six inches of water, but it's another beauty. Let this guy go. There he goes, back down. So that's what we've been getting on today. Um, I'm going to keep fishing for just a little longer. Got to go in and get some grubbage um, and whatnot. But, yeah, good uh, good bass day, bass day today. Um this lake usually produces bass, but that one bass I caught over there, that big one, that 16-incher, um, we did throw, we did put it back. It safely swam away. Um, we have not caught fish like that on this lake in a good couple couple years, I would say. So it was good to find a few big ones and put them back. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna keep fishing this this spot. So, alrighty, guys, we are back at the campsite now. Didn't get here. Been here for about an hour. Went into town, grabbed a few extra things, um, and we just had a few snacks before dinner. Tonight is steaks on the campfire, which I will record. We also are going trolling again. Um, so if that wasn't kind of informed to the people, we are trolling every night here, um, as long as it's nice out. So there will be trolling at the end of those videos, but we are doing steaks on the campfire, which you don't really see a lot. A lot of pe people, Cross from us over here. They did it on a stove last night. But we're gonna be doing it on the campfire. We've always done it on the campfire over Memorial Day. But we're gonna do it. I'm gonna record it for you guys. And that'll probably be the title of this video. Make it something interesting. It's always we always do something fishing, but we are max outdoors, so kind of bring it in with the campfire and the steaks and stuff. So that's gonna be good. Um it is. 4:35, and we probably won't eat till around six because by 7:30 we are we go down and that's when we start trolling. Um, so yeah, we got we got a little bit of uh, waiting time. So uh, just stay tuned. All right, guys, just got the campfire all set up. Got a, the nice little grate that's added. Those used to not be a thing, but now they are, and they're really helpful. But we got the steaks getting ready to go on. Um, we're also having 
potatoes as well. Oh baby. Oh. Look at that. Adjusted here. Those are the beautiful steaks that we are having on the campfire. Um, cooking them slow um, a little bit, but that's all right. This is one of my favorite ways to have a steak that you obviously cook. Obviously, you know, there's going to be steak restaurants out there that are just perfecto. But if I can cook them, I like them on the campfire. I think they're really good, really fresh. Um, but it's just simple as that. Freeze them until you get up here. Keep them in the in the cooler, and then thaw them out. And then that's what you got. Get your little clampers over here. Obviously, it might get a little stuck, but look at that. Whew. You got that butter over there? But that's what it's supposed to look like. We're going to keep cooking them and keep getting back to you guys. That's what we're doing. We're just buttering them up right now. Get them nice and buttered up. Get all that butter all over there. Get a little... It'll also make it easier when it sticks to the grate. But, I was done right there. Pretty simple as that. Then, let's make our way over here actually. We're also going to have some lovely potatoes, but we're on. We're on steak duty. So, we are on lovely steak duty. gonna stick to me. There we go. Just keep lathering them up. Get all those sides. And we'll flip it. Oh baby. Oh baby. Now we gotta butter that other side. Ready? We are almost done cooking these. Um, these are a little bit different. So with steak you're gonna wanna do, um, get a little flame. It's a little different from like hot dogs and like burgers and brats and stuff. That you can just do with hot coals, but this, you like to keep with a little flame. Every time you turn it, you just wanna throw a little butter on there. Get a little butter in there. You can flip. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that butter on top. Okay. <laughs> Get them flames. We're chefing it up out here, camping in the north woods. All right, we're gonna cut one open. See how it looks. Be careful, that. Oh, yes, baby. Yep, Want to check that other one, just in case. Woo! Good. Oh yeah. There we go. Got both of them. Yep. Medium on the campfire. As we are just keeping those steaks just a little warm, walk over here. There's what the potatoes. A little golden brown, that's all you need. We got this on the Coleman propane stove. That's the stove we've been using for just a long time. That's a, just bring up a little pan. That's all you need right there. So, steak and potatoes on the way. Alrighty guys, all finished now. That's what we're supposed to be looking like here. Got little potatoes here. Got our wonderful steak. Let's get a little, a little taste test. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Everybody knows the rules, camera eat first. Camera always eats first. Oh God, look at that. That's cool. That's so good. It's quick, easy, simple. Anyone can do it. You gotta buy your steaks a couple days before you go up, freeze them, um, and then when you get up here, all you gotta do is thaw them. It's pretty simple that. No seasoning on this. You can do whatever you want to your steak. But we just. 
I think we should buy some Chick fil A sauce. Cut it, cut it, cut it. What? I, I, also, need it. I also like steak plain. That wonderful potato in there. Oh my goodness. Mmm. So, that was the quick portion of cooking. Um, on the wanted to show you guys a little different stuff. I know we always just show you fishing, but show you that side of it. And then we're gonna finish this, and then in a little bit, we will be trolling, and I will be filming that again. So, stay tuned, we're gonna eat this, and then we're gonna get ready for trolling. Here we go. Okay, so you can drag on here. It's a big walleye. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's a big walleye. Yes! Oh, that's a big one. Yes! That's a big one. That's a big one. Yes! That's definitely a PD walleye. That's Holy a holy, smokes, that's a huge walleye. Within seconds. Oh, that's the shit that's jumping out there, I think. I think so. That's a big one. That's a big Y. Beauty. Oh yeah. Come here. Oh. That's a beautiful fish. There it is. Hit right away. Can you see it? Yeah, I gotta turn the light off. There you go. Can you see now the fish? Yeah, now hit it sideways. Oh yeah. Ooh, we're gonna have to measure that thing, but that's gonna be that's a keeper. A nice one. That is what we're talking about. That that hit right away. Did it? We'll measure it. Here we go. Okay. Hit it. Hooked up again. Where are these baits with the sink? I don't know, man. It's going up and down. Nope, that's a fish. fish. Yeah. It's a walleye. Yep. Little one. Little one. So I keep going here. Here we go. Should, yeah. I, should I keep going if the bait's straight or? Yeah, you're fine. The baits are fine because the, the ancillary stuff is it's gonna twist them. It's, nice. Yep, this will work. Minimum is 15. Let's be better than 15. Here. Alright. Alrighty, guys. Just got back from fishing. We got two clips on the GoPro. The GoPro died, so. But this is what we end with. I ended up with this beast. It's a 24 and a half inch walleye. And then, yeah, this guy. My dad caught this 16 inch walleye. So we got two walleye. We were out there for a pretty long time. We trolled almost the whole lake. About a quarter of it we didn't troll. Alright. Hopefully that GoPro got that stuff, but I'm gonna cut this fish up. Um obviously you won't get that stuff on camera and whatnot, but I'll show you guys this fish. That's a beast. That's a Northwoods beast right there. Is this where's the dorsal on that fish? Huh? Look at look at the small look at the big fish. Yeah. Is it on there or is it just down? It's just down. Oh there it is. We flip you guys here. Let's see how we are. Alright. Yeah. That's a beaut. I get into the light here. That's a big fish. Here's the other one. 
It's a good little eater. 16 inch walleye. This guy's still alive. We're gonna cut this guy up first. Um, but those are two beasts right there. Hopefully we got that on camera for you guys. Because that was a giant. Um, that's gonna wrap up this video. Uh, did some bass fishing, cooked some steaks on the campfire, and success trolling. So, perfect. Stay tuned for next video. We will also be up north. I think we have two more up north videos. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.